Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today I've got a whole certified Angus beef ribeye, and I'm gonna put it on my stick burner pit with some of my TX rub. This is gonna be a Texas style holiday prime rib. You know it's gonna be delicious. Let's get to cooking. So I'm starting with the whole ribeye. Now this was this one was a bone-in ribeye. I took those bones off. Don't throw them away, save those for another use. But if you're not comfortable removing those bones, you can ask the butcher to do it for you. I mean, this dude weighs probably about 13, 14 pounds after I removed the bones and some of that lip fat, that thick fat that was on the edge. But I wanna leave the rest of this fat over the top of it. That's gonna render down. It's gonna give this ribeye a lot of moisture. It's gonna be some flavor on the back end. The first thing I'm gonna do is just get a light coat of olive oil on the outside. We'll just kind of rub it in a little bit. Let's coat it up. This is gonna help our salt, our coarse pepper stick to the meat. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bottom side first. And I'm using this blend of coarse salt, coarse black pepper, my TX rub. Now this stuff is awesome on brisket, but it's also great on ribeye. And it's gonna make a crust on this prime rib that you will not believe. You don't need a whole lot of other ingredients to go with it. You just want a heavy dose, salt, black pepper. We'll turn it. Get all sides. Make sure you get the ends. And we're just gonna roll it over, finish the top off. It's time to fire up an outlaw. Now to get old Josie hot today, I've gotta start with some charcoal. That's gonna give us a good bed of hot coals to burn these sticks of post oak. Got some Royal Oak briquettes going in first, couple tumbleweeds to get that fire hot. You wanna leave the door open on the outlaw and the exhaust vent 100% open. That's gonna let the air flow through there. It's gonna draw in some oxygen to get those coals good and hot. As the temperature starts climbing up, check the exhaust vent back, and then we're gonna be ready to add our post oak splits. We're just gonna add one at a time to keep those temperatures about two 275, we'll add more as those burn down. It's about one every 30, 45 minutes. This thing looks beautiful already. And all I'm doing is putting it on here exactly how I want it to cook. Just kind of make sure it's straight, bunch it up just a little bit. we get the lid closed. We'll probe that dude here in a minute because I don't want to screw it up. We're going to be ready to rock and roll. So it's been about 30 minutes. I'm going to check our post oak. That splits. Still burning pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more small one right beside it so we can keep that rolling. We still got a good bed of coals. It's gonna give us a little smoke on that prime rib. So we're about an hour in on the whole ribeye. This is where I wanna start monitoring it. And I'm gonna use two probes. It's a long piece of meat. I wanna know what the temperatures are in the back, in the front. So I'm just gonna use my Thermalworks probe. See how far I need to go in to get halfway, a couple inches there. I'm gonna go dead mass right in the center. Same thing for the other probe. Looks like it needs to go in about that far. So we're gonna go dead mass right in the center. And I've got this Smoke X4 controller. Got it set for 125 degrees. My little remote's gonna work inside so I don't have to stay out here with it. We've got a ways to go. We're only about 60 degrees. So we're about two hours and 30 minutes into this cook. I'm still sitting on 275 degrees. It's time for that last piece of oak wood going on. We've got about 20 more minutes left and I think I'm gonna hit my target 10. I'm gonna add one more split right on those hot coals. I've just been adding one split at a time about every 30 minutes. You can see our charcoals done gave us all the heat we want. We've got a good little bed going there to get that split going. We'll get it closed. And I think you can see here on the smoke, we're running about 120 on that top probe, 115. It's ran about five degrees the whole time. That's gonna give me the perfect range on this whole smoke ribeye. I've got a five degree difference. So I've got a rare area, medium rare area. That's where I wanna eat beef. That's where we're taking it to. So I ought to be done here in about 20 minutes. So I've kicked back the inside, but you can see this whole smoked ribeye is hitting 125 and 120. Perfect, it's time to go outside. We're gonna get it off and rest it. Our ribeye is creeping up. It's done hit up to 127 before I got out here. I was kicked back inside. Let's take a look at this dude. Got a rare end, got a medium rare end, crusted up. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but it's not done. It needs to rest. So I'm gonna take it over to the cutting board, tin it with some aluminum foil, Give it about a 30 minute rest. I don't want to cut into it now. I want to let it calm down. Let those juices go back in the inside of it. It's going to be perfect. Man, what you talking about? That ribeye has hung out for about 30 minutes. I'm going to put it right on the cutting board. Ooh, I don't want to lose all this good juice either. Now this is the part I've been waiting on. Whole ribeye finally rested. It's time to cut it up. So I'm going to start by knocking off this end. Look at all that juice coming out. That looks beautiful. Oh man, gosh. That, squeeze the juice, you know it's got some flavor. It's got some moisture. The way I'm gonna cut it up, just like I was ordering a big old piece of juicy prime rib, 
at a restaurant or for Christmas dinner, we're going thick, about one inch, man size portion, 12 to 14 ounce, right? Let's get another one. That, oh, just glides through it. And look how beautiful that is. Now, whole smoked ribeye or prime rib, it is a thing of beauty. I mean, that's what my favorite holiday meal is. And I'm serving it with an au jus that I whipped up with the rib bones. You can check that video out too. I'm gonna cut me a bite here. Right off that end piece, that's always the pit master slice. Right in the au jus, still hot and juicy. It's gonna have a ton of flavor. You know I'm gonna try it both ways though. <laughs> Wow, that's phenomenal. Certified Angus beef brand, whole smoked ribeye. It has everything I want in my beef. Salt, pepper, and beef. It's delicious, you really don't even need the au jus. So much moisture, the bark on the outside, you can taste that post oak smoke, you can taste the salt, taste the pepper, but the rest of it just lets that really, really wonderful beef shine through. Mm. That's the centerpiece any holiday dinner table, no matter what you're serving. Hey, if I got the buddies over, we're gonna be eating one of these whole smoked prime ribs. You can do this on any pit. Just hold those temps steady at 275. I used my TX all on the outside, smoked it for about two hours, 45 minutes, till it got 125 internal, rested it, and it's done. It's that easy. Slice it up however you like it. I'm a thick guy, so I like the thick cut. Thanks for checking us out here at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to that channel. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shell and I do a podcast. We're going to talk about this whole smoked ribeye, all the other delicious stuff we're cooking. We'll see y'all next time. Happy holidays. Dang. I almost couldn't finish this video. This is so diggum good. I mean, you know ribeye's good. Smoked, simple. Holy cow. Mmm. Mmm. Ho, ho, ho.